Hey guys, Matt here from um, Aussie U Campers and AUCampers.com. Just wanted to give you a squeeze. Picked myself up a new 12 volt 20 amp kick ass charger. These guys seem pretty bloody good. Um, mine arrived in the mail yesterday. I've plugged it in. I've had it running for since 9.30 this morning. It's now 2 o'clock. Sitting on charged status there at the moment. It hasn't yet gone into maintain. Mind you, I'll put the lights and that on in here at the moment. Guys, these these chargers are very well priced. 128 bucks. They this one here is going through no dramas at all, no faults, no issues. One of the best things I can advise is getting one of these to suit your battery. There's three different three different sorts. There's the 12 volt 7 amp, the 12 volt 12 amp, and the 12 volt 20 amp. I've got the 12 volt 20 amp. I'm running a 170 amp hour battery kick ass as well. The reason I've gone for that one is they do 150 amp to 300 amp hour. Um, you step down to the 12 volt 12 amp, ideal for your 120 amp hour batteries, your 100 amp hour batteries, they, they've sort of got a variable between 90 to 150 amp hour. You step down from that and then you've got from 50 to 90 or 50 to 100 amp hours. That's for the 7 amp. These here are a must have in for anyone to maintain any AGM battery, especially. AGM batteries love being as full as possible whenever possible. They love being charged and kept up at full capacity. But these here are a must have. I strongly recommend. I plugged it in this morning, didn't even look at the instruction manual, plugged it in, connected it up, on she came, happy days. The only thing you'll need to do is if you have not run an AGM, is select your gel, your wet, or your calcium if it's not an AGM. And an automatic charger will do the rest. Eight stages. In those eight stages, you've got desulfation, soft start, bulk charge, absorption, analysis, recondition, and then you've got charged, and then a maintain mode. The maintain mode is a very good one, it won't overcharge your battery. These things will go into what's called a float charge or a maintain charge, just to make sure your battery is just on point, topped up just nicely how you want it. Um, they've got the full descriptions there on the website, they've got it in the manual um, for a lot of the people that have already got these, absolutely loving them. However, guys jump on, you know what Clates is like, loves everything to be Anderson plugged. He's got one right there, just in case you've got one of the kick-ass boxes, you can plug it straight into your input, or if you've got a canopy with an input, um, I don't at the moment, don't have the Anderson plug input, uh, that is another option. Because I don't have it, I've gone straight to the battery, but Cleek provides you with the Anderson plugs and the alligator clips to go on there. Thumbs up, mate. A hell of a job and we get complimented on it all the time um, just to say how much people like the kick-ass batteries kick-ass videos etc um, head over check them out they've got a wide range of kick-ass gear they've got the chargers the lithium portable showers they've got the batteries the fridges uh, the watt meters they've got so many awesome things on there extension leads solar panels uh, pretty much anything you need they've pretty much got it so guys head over check them out Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel. Um, check out our Facebook page, AUCampers.com, Travelling Oz. And then we've got um, our YouTube channel, AU Campers, Instagram, AU Campers. And head over and check out Aussie U Campers group on Facebook for 45,000 members. We've got a stack of builds on there. Very awesome, very clued in. And some really neat builds going on on there. Be sure to chat, head over and check them out guys, we'll have some more, more reviews coming up for you in 2018, some bigger, better, and we've got some bigger giveaways coming up on our Aussie U Campus group. Cheers guys.